Now the same process will happen with the background image. As you can see you are going to have these images in here and if you click down below you are going to be able to download the original background image which will be this one and the new blue background image which will be this one in here. First of all let me show you what I did and in this case I choose the colors let me go in here it will be the 386 VA7 Control C and we are going to go back and the same in here we are going to be changing the colors let me go down here and Control V let's go back and the color at the top will be uh, 4881Z0 Control C and we are going to go back so we can apply the new color make a selection control V and there you are well actually let me go back double check because the color in the bottom will be a little bit darker and the color at the top will be a little bit lighter than the other color now you can play with all these colors because ultimately that will be your decision what you want to accomplish that will be another option as you can see and it will be the same inside these two images what I did is to reduce the opacity let me go down here and make a selection on the image and probably change everything to 60 probably 60 will be fine then click on this image and eliminate that one and we are just going to copy and control V move the image to the top and that will be it now if you continue and analyze what I did inside this image basically I just changed the color and I eliminate these lines on the right okay that's all I did and inside these images I only increase the white behind the image you can see here it will be basically all white or almost everything will be white you can go in here and click inside the bottom color so you can increase the white color in here let's click OK and that will be basically all the change now down here I actually did more changes if we go back let me show you first of all I create an image with the dimensions 64 times 4 thousand and eight hundred twenty four if I click on the image let me click zoom in so you can notice the texture behind this image if you click on the image and then down here you are going to be able to see the texture and I choose in this case the cross hatch number one let me go in here cross hatch and you can see the texture let's go down here that will be a different one and again you can play with all these changes in here the other thing I changed was this one in here I went to all 100 because if you change that one to a different number you are going to be able to see the difference in here now regarding this one let me show you this top image well I create an image in here and in this case this is what I did I went in here and click on the chamfer rectangle then I create a new image right there with the same dimensions as you can see 34 and 34 next I reduce the size in here did you notice let me probably backspace and it will be something around there the next step will be moving everything to the top let me show you in here going back well going up and as you can see I click in there and then control C and control V of course I calculate all these dimensions in here 
and as you can see that will be basically what I did in here let me go back right there and you know what I will need to move all this in here the next step will be creating another background image now let me go in here and it will have the same color move the image a little bit up there we are and that's all I did inside this image again you will need to play around with all the settings behind uh, Adobe Fireworks so you can accomplish all the well anything you want in here so my friends that's basically all the changes I did in here okay for this video that will be it and let's move on